There we go. Hello, hello, my check one, two, one, two, two legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, two legit city, and we're back, you guys. And today we're gonna be doing the 50 for 50 challenge. If you guys don't know, the 50 for 50 challenge is the Echo Ridge challenge, where we start off with 50 duplicates, and then we have to survive for 50 cycles. All right. Let's try to get the new dupes. Yes, these are uh, the three new dupes they added in. We got Amari, we got Steve, we got Pei. And then this is going to be the 50 Mambas. Okay, so um, you guys are going to be my witness. I am going to pause the game at the get-go. And we're going to have to spawn in 50 dupes. All right. So you guys will be the witness game we have to enable sandbox mode unfortunately and that's so that we could spawn in the dupes it's very unfortunate number 50 let's go hey look at that this is the uh teleporter so this is our geyser list that we have already we know we're guaranteed these geysers and i'm not gonna lie i already know what i need to do we're gonna go straight into a spawn <laughs> we're going straight into a spawn design. It's not even a, a question. That's the first thing we're going to do. We have to make a spawn, and that's going to be uh, how we manage it with the cold water geyser. So that's going to be the goal. Mine out all the algae and try to find cold water as soon as we can. Uh, probably want to mine out to the abyssal light, right? Mine out all the sand. Classic uh, Oni starts. All the stuff here gets mined out, of course. All the way up to the edge. Same thing. Gotta mine out the sand that's gonna fall down. All the dupes are working. Okay, so here's how we're gonna wanna do this. Attacking is gonna be standard. Life support's gonna be high. Toggling is gonna be high. Doctoring is gonna be low. Rocketry is gonna be disallowed. Tidying is gonna be flat. Cooking is disallowed. Decorating is disallowed. Researching is disallowed. We're gonna select researchers. Ranching is disallowed. We're going to select ranchers. And then everything else is going to be flat. So I don't want to set up priority. So we're just going to have everyone be flat. Uh, except people ranching and researching. Those are the only things that do need to be on a timer. Everything else having a raw setup should be fine. First things first. I want to see how fast the oxygen gets bopped. I want to see 50 duplicates breathing this 1,500 grams of oxygen per tile and immediately deplete it. So, let's see. Everyone is just chilling. Oh my god, look at that. Immediately, it's suffocation. This is insane. <laughs> Immediate suffocation, dude. Oh my god, everyone's already holding their breath. Okay, someone's already stuck. God damn it, man. This is like two seconds in. How the hell are we already stuck? How the hell are we already out of oxygen? This is not looking good. Either way, though, uh, we're trying to get to the water. And then I do need to mine out some tiles before we could even move up or down. I don't want to grab that. I want to grab this one. And then I probably want to go into here. There's oxygen right there. This guy's stuck. Ah, oh, man. Classic. All right. So let's do this. And let's do this. Oh, I have sandbox mode on. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to draw sandstone underneath. Dude, this run is mad jank already, dude. Holy crap. Didn't see anything. Guys. This is uh, the beginning of the run. Totally legit. Don't know what you're talking about, 2LC, dude. I'm slipping, man. I'm just mad slipping. All right, so this was how many tiles? 18? 19? This 19? All right, so I need... The proper floor spacing is 16 tiles times 4. No, that's 64. So it's not 16. It's uh, 4 divided by 96. What is that? No, 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 we'll use the, the normal setup for 64, right? Because that's how the room overlay works. Yeah, 64. So it's 16 to 18 to 20. So it's one more. So it's here. We cancel that. All right. So from there, we're going to have to ladder up and down. 
there's a body of water there that'd be kind of cool. This guy's already stuck, feels bad. Just mind this, mind this, and you'll fall down. Let's go. Come on, fall. Hey, there we go. All right, let's go up that way. We want to go here, but we want to go up this way. Oh, we have power. Let's go. We're missing metal ore. Okay. That's going to mean we're going to need this mining, which is why we need the ladder down. The metal ore has oxygen production. Some people are just chilling, man. I see you guys over there. All right, so research. Uh, first things first, we're going to get farm tiles. That's the fastest way to get food in the beginning. And I do want to do, I guess, the T ladder right here so that it works out a little bit better. Let's get our sandstone here as well. And then let's get some more sandstone here. We also want to mine up this side if we can. We got to go up as far up as we can. Cool, cool, cool. Mine that out. Oxygen's here. We need to spread that out. There's a hatch. He's probably going to have to die. Feels bad for the hatch. We have a lot of jobs. I'm trying to get to here, actually, because I want the water. So let's stop that layer, do this, and then we want to mine this, and then we'll have to have a ladder way into here. All right, that's going to be important. Uh, from here, let's do another ladder T, so that we have pathing on this side. We want this to be open, but this is going to be the most important stuff to do. I could just get into here. I'm just scared of the water spillage. This is probably faster. Let's do both. That's probably the best thing to do. Go into both water sources. Do it like that. Uh, from here, two, three, four. Might as well get that set up. Hopefully no one gets stuck on there. Oxygen is very ugly right now. That was good space up top though. It's not bad. Research complete, nice. Uh, farm towels right now. We can do planter boxes. I don't know if we need that ASAP. I don't also want to do algae like that yet. And I think we do want to mine this. Get this mined out. We have the ladders there. We need to get to the water. All right, so the bathrooms. So it's going to be here. And then we're going to get the first outhouse. Dude, people are going to pee the tank. I'm so far away from water. There's no way I don't pee the tank. <laughs> I don't think I could avoid not peeing the tank. And then we have this area. I don't know what to put here. Dude, there's a lot of dupe labor, though. So we start off with 50 dupes. Uglarvis, dude! You're suffocating. Get out. Get out. So from here, I think we just make a jank setup. That's the best way to do it. And I think what we'll do is we'll do a ladder path somewhere here. And then we have to mine. This comes out to here. We mine this out. And then from here, we have to mine this out. And then we mine this out and then that out. So from here, I need another outhouse. Uh, this needs to be expanded. We get three right there. We're going to need some more here. Door here. Plumbing outhouse. That goes there. Oxygen from the top is going to be kind of sweet. Iso... Ooh, the oxalate vein. That's going to be pog. Man, we have a lot of dupes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go for is the electrolyzer. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, man. Here it is. Oh, I don't have... I need liquid pump into electro. Yeah, we'll go for that. We have the outhouse, but I don't know if we have enough... And I know we can't wash our hands yet, so there's going to be a little bit of food poisoning is going to be a problem. Don't jump. Don't jump. No one jump. No one jump. Nice. No one jumps. All right, so we can pitcher pump here. That's going to be the best pitcher pump. They could climb down to that. We're going to need to mine this. So that if they have pee, hopefully it doesn't fall in. There's a lot of CO2. All right, we're going to need another one of these. Another one of these. These are being built, oxalite. Okay, so we do another floor here. We do that. We do this. 
This goes across. This goes out this way. This gets mined out. Okay, so then from here, let's do some more oxygen diffusers on each floor, because I probably need it. This needs to be expanded out. Let's get the ladders to here. And then this needs to get some ladders here as well for some throughput. Let's get some ba uh, power lines coming up and down. Okay. Uh, that's going to be because that's going to be where the door is, so it makes sense. This gets expanded. Everything's getting built. Pitcher pump is there. We'll get some water. Okay, so this needs to be mined out some more. Alright, so ladder should go up. Crack close to the biome. Can't go through the granite. Fine. More algae on this side. So, I'm going to go through this way. Four tiles. Pull that out. This needs some solid flooring. And then we have more algae here we could grab towards next. Okay, so far so good. Now, the next thing we need to recognize is our cold areas. Um, that's going to be a good area to basically... Not cold, but places that are not too warm. This is going to be pretty good up top. So it's probably going to mean that we'll have our mealwood farm around this area. Or at least try to. Or it's not really going to matter where we have it in the beginning. We're just going to need a mealwood farm. Alright, so we're going to have unoptimal spacing, but it is what it is. Let's get some setups for that. This is a weird jank setup, but this is to prevent pee water from spilling everywhere. Also, we have no beds right now. Feels bad, man. Let's get the mines out. Then we have people sleeping on the floor. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. You really do. Uh, let's get some doors in. Try to make some uh, proper rooms. Let's get that settled in. Uh, I probably want to mine out as much sand as I can first. Try to mine all that out. Okay, get that mined out right there. Hopefully they don't pee out that way. That would kind of suck. And we're running out of food. This is going to be a bad time very soon. Hopefully we're going to have some food soon. Let's not mind that tile. Got to have a lip for the uh, layers. Got to mind that though. And no one had to pee yet, I think. No, they're going through the first pee. We're trying to build as many outhouses as we can, dude. If you gotta pee, go pee. We're going on a road trip, kids. Pee before we leave. Alright, alright. So, we made through the first night without anyone peeing the tank. But this is actually when they start peeing the tank. Day two. So, I'm a little bit worried. I'm hoping, you know, for all the best. How did the sand... Okay, that happens. That happens. Uh, so, this goes here. This goes here. This goes like that, and then this technically should be a wall for now. Let's go with that. No research right now. Okay. We have the electrolyzer. Uh, I probably want the seed next then. We got to be a little bit more critical on the uh, resource choice right now. There is water here. I'm scared to pee the tank, so I don't want to do anything with that yet. Uh, we do want to mine this out, though. Make another floor. Mine that out. I do want to mine this out. And then this is not going to break, so it should be fine. Dude, oxygen is still very low. This is insane. Uh, let's get more oxygen diffusers. Why is everyone trying to be stuck? Everyone's actually trying to be stuck. We got to create space 100% of the time. All right, so the ice, I think it's going to be important. It's going to help us temper the temperatures. Another thing is, someone is trapped. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you guys are fine. Uh, another thing is, is that germs, right? We're going to have to make sure we deal with that pretty easily. Do we have skills? No one has skills yet. That's fine. Okay, we got to get some more farms in 100% of the time. So, I'm probably just going to have to build farms with no regard for human life. Two bathrooms technically isn't enough, but, you know, it is, it is a start. <laughs> it's a start. So I think we want the ice. And I think our goal is going to be getting to Abyssalite mining. Because if we do, I think we have a really good setup that we could set up. At least I think. I have to just convert areas into farms. It looks like the right side is going to be the best thing for that. So, as much as I don't want to do this, I think I have to. 
Got to have the double layers. Have this go all the way down. Probably go down to the mealwood. Want to see what's down here. Oh, natural gas. That's cool. It's power. I don't know if I actually want to use it. It's a little bit hot. You can see our, our algae is... Uh, we're burning through it, man. We don't have enough oxygen being generated most of the time. No researchers assigned. Uh, oh, we don't have the uh, capability to do water sieve. Okay. If that's the case, I'm going to have to grab a supercomputer, right? That's necessary. All right. So there's nowhere yet that we're actually able to generate uh, CO2 collectively. I mean, it's going to be at the bottom. So I'm thinking I put my food storage down there, but I'm not sure. How early are you going to send people? I don't know. <laughs> this is my first time. I didn't think about it at all. <laughs> Everything is going to be touch and feel. Everything is going to be touch and feel. This side looks like I need to go through, honestly. Ah, see, that tile, though, is going to break. This is fertilizer. This is the weakest tile in the game. I'm scared to go through this tile. Uh, and this is sand. That's so bad. I want to go up vertically so bad. I actually could. I just have to risk the slime look, which shouldn't be that big of a deal, to be honest. Copy, paste, get the meal wood in. Here, here, here. Oh, that's kind of a pain because I want the ladders on top, right? I guess we do it on this side. And then I guess I have to do this. It's kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> Not even max priority bathrooms. And they're actually taking care of it. Oh my god. That's so good. No beds yet, but we have latrines. It's a start. No one peed the tank. No one peed the tank. That's actually pretty impressive. No one made a mess in our 50 dupes. No one has made a mess yet. So I'm not going to lie. I want to say that means we're doing well. I say that and my toilets are maxed out already. All right. We'll probably need some more toilets. Probably need some more toilets. A lot of the materials is not mineable yet. We're waiting for our first skill point. That's going to be on day three or four. And then we're going to get our first food storage right here. We're going to move the uh, ration box. All right, gonna get to here, deconstruct, gonna get to the ration box here. CO2 will naturally accumulate there, so I shouldn't have to worry. All right, we're gonna continue the meal with farm going down. This is warm, so maybe I don't wanna go down that way. And then another thing is, I could go into the slime biome right now. I have an idea. We're gonna seal this up. And then we're gonna put a wash basin here. Yeah, I mean, we, we can do this, so it's it's a it's a possibility, so I might as well. Because my oxygen is low anyways, this is going to be a struggle. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 oxygen diffusers, and I'm generating 9 times 500. I actually, I'm short 1, okay. I need at least 1 more oxygen diffuser to be break-even. Okay, so this is how we're going to be break-even with oxygen generation. Uh, that goes up top then. Let's go like this. And then we probably want one more so that we start generating oxygen because we're cre creating space. So the O2 levels are only going to go down. So I probably want this down here then. So let's have this go like that. Add two more. The power line should suffice, so we should be fine. We're going to do a weird setup here. Um... It's just, it's just overall going to be weird. <laughs> like, that, that's the best way for me to describe it. It's going to be a weird setup. We're going to be... Oh, no! No! Jump, jump down! Nice! Oh, my God. He almost got stuck for no reason. All right, CO2 pool. We're going to have to connect these two so the CO2 kind of uh, accumulates all together. That's going to be better that way. Let's stop doing that. We have power now. These guys are not stuck, and then we need this to be on a higher priority, so that's going to be a 7. This is going to be left side only. We're not going to change those bathrooms yet. So the reason why we're doing this is because I'm going to crack into the slime biome immediately. So we're going to come in this way. We know this is actually uh, mineable. 
So this is actually why we actually put the ladder there. There's a little bit of slime lung on the tiles already. Feels bad. Did we, did we already get slime lung in the base, dude? What is this? Slime lung? How? How in the world? I guess we got slime lung on the algae somehow. There's already it's already floating in the base. Feels bad. All right, so we're looking at this. Looks like we could mine. We have to go through the slime. There's no way around it. And then we have this right here. All right, we got research right now. We just got supercomputer tech, which is needed. I can't do the next step for the sieve without it, and I probably want insulated pipes as well. The other things I would want to grab, though, it's probably the insulation tile tech in the beginning. Outside of that, maybe the automation wire, because I'm going to need some of the sensors. Uh, I don't need the kiln. The large battery would be sweet to have, but I don't think we could actually go for that yet. And I think we will try to rely on coal power. That's something I normally don't do. But since we're doing a 50 for 50 run, I think we're going to have to rely on that. Nonetheless, though, we need the supercomputer tech. And yeah, you know what? I will go for the coal power. Let's go for that. All right. So that means we go down to here. Let's go into our station. Supercomputer like that. We're going to pull the power from the right side due to the fact that it's not balanced 540 versus 720 and these guys are just running the wheel and i need a battery here actually it feels bad man i did not put a battery here so you're just running for oxygen so that means our o2 is not balanced so back into here we need to check out the germ overlay uh the granite's not something with mine yet right no one has skill points unfortunately all 50 my dupes so we're gonna have to go through the good old-fashioned way so we're just gonna have to Man, I don't have water anywhere. I'm going to have to go through this way. Okay, so that means I go through here, here. We're going to mine this because we can, and then we'll ladder through everywhere else. So that slime is going to be dirty. I don't have a space to store it, and we're going to wash our hands on the way back if we get germs, which is why we set this up. We set up a choke point specifically for that reason. Uh, we're going to want to mine this too, just because we can, and then we'll get started. So we're going to need a ladder there. And then by going through this biome and mining it out, we get to the ice, which is going to be good because there's oxalate right there. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, let's change the bathrooms, right? We got, oh, enable auto repair. This goes left. The people cleaning the bathrooms, dude, they're the real MVPs. Real talk, man, no memes. They really are. I think what we're going to want to do is have the water fall down and then expand out the mealwood farm over here. All right, so we go through there. There's a little bit of slime lung that I think fell. It is what it is, though. I don't have deodorizers yet, but I'm not too worried. Looking at the germs. There is a piece of slime back here. Yep. We wash our hands, though, so we should be safe. And then afterwards, I want to go down, and I want to build a bin here for slime. My man's a trapped. Save yourselves, man. Let's go. So let's also ladder up this way, because I need to mine out those tiles. I might as well tap into here, because I could go through without actually mining the slime. That's pretty slick. I won't be able to jump, so I'm going to need that second ladder. So looking at this, uh, we're going to try to mine out as much of the clean algae as we can. And uh, we go through the top, so double ladder there. I probably can go up and see what we have up top. Oh, there's a natural opening. Oh, damn. Okay, that's awesome right there. That's what we we're talking about. Dupes got stuck again. Classic, dude. Classic dupes. Classic dupe shenanigans, man. You know how it is. Let the dupes get to work, though. There's some space up there I want to go through. Little bit of spillage. Oh, it's spilled from the top. That's fine. Let's mop that up. That's free oxygen, theoretically. I would want some airflow towels here, realistically. They like getting stuck, dude. I don't know what to tell you. This is going to pressurize. Oh, this. Oh, two heat sources at the bottom. Classic. And there is an opening here. Oh, that sucks. All right. We're going to have to go the insulated tile route. Uh, rust. <laughs> I am not taking a dupe. Rust is also an oxidizer. Let's go. Let's go. The rust. Oh, I don't have salt. Never mind. I can't even use that. 
<laughs> I can't use rust without salt. Ah, oof, dude. Feels bad. Lacks advanced research. Okay, so no one has a skill point, dude. Please. Somebody, man. We just want skill points. Oh, this keeps spilling. Ah, crap. I wanted to go up this way. I guess that's not going to be a route then. All right, let's actually cap that out. A little bit of pee water. See, I didn't pee though. That's just polluted water naturally from the biome. I actually don't know what we have uh, in terms of resource. Let's actually track that. Dirt. We have 168 tons. That'll last us a minute. Doesn't, it won't last us forever, though. That is something I am worried about. All right, we got that. They didn't seal themselves in. Pog. Uh, this is going to be for slime. Anytime we get slime, put it through there. Should be fine. All right, so now... Oh, the cool salt slush. Oh, there it is, boys. We got it. Our cold energy source. We were actually... We beat the game. We beat the game. That was it, boys. That's all we needed. And just like that, we won, boys. So I'm memeing. Typically, if you're playing a normal Oni playthrough, the moment you find cold water, you it's very hard for you to lose the game. I, I mean, at least for an experienced player. Not that you should always beat the game once you have cold water, but a lot of the time, that's what you're looking for. That's the goal, right? So once you get that, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. So we have the hot energy at the bottom and the cold energy up top. Someone is starving. Oh, dude, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's the thing. All right, so it's time for the micro mushers. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to tell you guys, man. It's time. It's the micro musher time. We sludge press. We don't have any use for that, I don't think, because we don't have mud here, right? Oh, man. Uh, how long are you starving for? Starving and holding his breath, dude. All right, man. The critter's got to die. Huge rip, man. All of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. They got to they gotta go. They got to go. We got to make mush bars. Let them eat dirt. I am. We got to make one of these. I forgot about it. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. We eating dirt, boys. Dirt's back on the menu. One, two, three, four. That's reachable. Rip hatches. They gotta go, man. We're not. We're not gonna do ranching because it takes us fifty cycles to set it up, anyways. <laughs> so it's like I don't need ranching in this playthrough, if that's the case. I also want to pay attention to algae. I have sixty tons, so hopefully that's enough. Oh, look at that! Oxygen is included, boys. We're going to be alive for a while. We're just got to worry about food now. Thing I will need, I think, is insulated tile so that we can use our turtle strat. Turtle strat's very, very attractive, I think. It allows us to manage temperature in the early stages of the game. That allows our mealwood farms to last a little bit longer. And I think that's going to be the key for the playthrough. Now, of course, I do want it to use cold water and electrolyzers. I just don't know if that's going to be worthwhile. Looks like our schedule was pretty good. Let's change the uh, schedule from the top again. So, 1, 2, 11, 12. All right. So, we have 12, 12, 14 for 50. So, 12, 12, 12, 14. 36, 12, and then 14. Yep. This guy's not going to get stuck, hopefully. Uh, it, it's, it, it, will, it will take longer than 50 cycles to scale it up for 50 people, though. I mean, you, you could probably work, but 